Virgil, 14 month layoff. Assess what you saw from Ward today. Uh, I mean, I was pleased. Um, you know, inevitably, it's going to be some a little rust. That's inevitable. But I mean, the type of fight that uh, he was in, uh, you know, it showed his experience, it showed his control, it showed his ability to overcome any style and then, you know, dissect the style and, and break the style down and control the style. So, in that respect, it was just more than. Shoulder doing? How did it look? It looks good. Everything's fine. Everything's in check. You know, um, too bad we didn't have enough time to level him when we hurt him to get him out of there. But you know, that's the way it is. First fight back. So um, you know, we look forward to getting to another one real quick so he can get into that groove and you know, still look forward to the best out of the war. The name that uh, people seem to be throwing around for Andre Ward is Triple G. Me and you have spoken about this before, about the mythical puncher that, you know, just a puncher puncher versus a boxer, he's going to pretty much get beat. Do you really see that coming up in, in the future? Or? Look, I mean, if, if, if we're at 68 and, and Gennady and his people decide to move to 68, that fight's going to happen. I mean, well, why not? That's what the people want to see. That's what the boxers want to see. But they've indicated time and time again. said that he wants to have a big pay-per-view fight coming up real soon. What name that's out there right now do you see that could catapult him into a pay-per-view bout? Uh, it's hard to say, but if I, I guess at the top of that, it would probably be Junior, Chavez Junior, because he has a country behind him, you know, and that's enough right there to sustain a pay-per-view bout. Unfortunately, African-Americans don't have a country behind them, you know, fighters and things like that, so, 